Hey planner friends! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be flipping through my 2022 planner. Let's get started. So here we are with my 2022 planner and it's time to take a final look in this planner and do my flip through for the year. So the cover, it took a bit of a battering despite the fact that my planner barely leaves the house but overall it's held up pretty well I think. My nameplate page as expected pretty much didn't change for the entire year. Then have my roadmap and my compass assessment for last year and my future log pretty much stayed the same the entire year. So moving into my first monthly, this was a planner face monthly. I think I used planner face monthlies the entire way through this planner. Yeah, I really like how this spread turned out. This is when I was doing the Yoga with Adrian monthly challenge. So apart from when I got sick towards the end of the month, I pretty much coloured in every day on my little mini calendar. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. My first spread of the year, I had my usual washi blocking, which I've again bought back for this year. And then I was using this really cute planner face kit. And this is where I started using a little bit of foil. So you can see I've got a little happy new year 2022 over here. And yeah, I think this is pretty much exactly the same kind of layout as my planner for this year. The first full week in January, this was a really old planner face kit and it was a full kit, I think. So I had loads of different size boxes than I usually would do to plan with, which was interesting. It's always interesting using stuff that you aren't really used to. This next one was a strawberry lamb designs kit. And I think I mixed it up with some planner face freebies, which we were using the same art and were pretty much the same colors. Um, so yeah, I've got a few different boxes and little doodles and stuff that were from planner face. This next one was a plant face mystery kit. It was all about baking and I really like how this one turned out. I like these colors. They're kind of ice cream colors. I think I was describing them as. But yeah, I got sick for the first time in a while on this week. So not my ideal week, but it was still pretty fun. This next week was my boyfriend's birthday. So this is a gamer themed kit, which I try and use a gamer themed kit every year for his birthday. So I've got a few extra pictures down the bottom because we did a few things. Previous birthday had been like fully in lockdown. So it's nice to get out and be able to actually do some stuff for the, him this year. Oh, I was also super hungover this day and I had to work out how I was gonna put a horrendous hangover in my um, planner. Also, I think this was a, a paper chic planned kit. And this one is another planner face kit. I think this one was from an anniversary bundle, uh, but this was my first bit of color blocking for this year. And I really got into color blocking this year. I think I did like at least one color blocking spread a month. But yeah, it was really cute. This is when my boyfriend got COVID for the first time this year. Oh, and I also finished the Yoga with Adrian challenge a couple days late. So I'm then gonna skip over my January reflection and move on to February. So this is when I started like falling off the wagon with yoga because I was focusing more on lifting. So I think I did my yoga calendar for one more month after this. Um, but this is when we started going to a lot of appointments with the cats and dogs home that we adopted Reggie from. And I think when I was putting these in, I was trying to make it not obvious because we'd met a dog at the end of 2021 and I was really excited, but it didn't go anywhere. So I was really glad that I hadn't put it in my planner because I didn't really want to talk about the fact that it didn't work out. But then at the end of this month is when we got Reggie. So it's very exciting. So I did two sort of valentines -y weeks, even though we don't really do Valentine's Day and the Monthly was incredibly Valentine's-y, um, but I really liked this kit and the colours in it, so I had to use it. Yeah, this is when we first met Reggie. I think this is the first picture of him in my planner. So I went to this appointment on my own because uh, my boyfriend was still sick, and that was when I met Reggie and was like, yeah, I want him. This was another kit that I really wanted to use. The previous one was planner face, and so is this one. Um, so it's it's a bit of a like gothic love story sort of thing 
Um, so this is actual Valentine's Day. My boyfriend and I don't really do anything for Valentine's Day, but it's an excuse to use pretty stickers in my planner. But the main thing that we did this week was my boyfriend met Reddy and we went to visit him again. And he looks so cute. And then this week I had Reggie comes home with a question mark on the weekly focus because I wasn't sure if it was, I was just worried that it was all gonna fall through again, but thankfully it didn't. And then we brought him home on the 26th and we've got all these gorgeous photos from his first day at home. Oh, he was such a little sweetie. He was so anxious when we brought him home. He didn't have a clue what was going on. I love looking back through my planners. And um, this kit was another plan face one and I think it was uh, freebies from a sale. So I had all of these like skinnier little boxes, which were actually really handy. And then the final spread in February is actually mostly in March. So it's very green moving into my March color scheme. And this was basically the couple days off that I took to kind of get Reggie settled in. And he had his first zoomies and we took him up for a walk to the village and yeah he's just settling in really nicely it was super cute so then march this is as a, i'm gonna say this so much this is another planner face kit and i think this was the art from one of the mystery kits from the previous year so i was really happy to see this come back as a as a monthly kit because i loved the art and this is where i really fell off the wagon with yoga and also duolingo and that stays the same for a couple of months this is when also when I first used a bit of sparkle in my monthly kits. So I used my Jelly Roll pen to add in all of the holidays for this month, which there are a lot of in March. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with just starting to add a little bit of sparkle into my spreads. This is another Planner Face mystery kit. And this was in that um, removable vinyl that she used for a while. And I really love how this one comes out. I was so happy that I decided to do some colour blocking with this spread because I managed to get like the colours that were bang on and I was really happy with how it turned out. And also I just loved the art in this kit. Moving on to St. Patrick's Day. So I used a very much St. Patrick's Day themed kit and this was quite a busy week, I think. So on Friday, we just took Reggie to the pub for the first time, but work had been really busy. So this is when I was starting to do cross training for my old team. Uh, so training my replacement and my old team and also doing my training to move into my new team. And it was just getting super overwhelming. And I was also starting to not enjoy journaling. So I was setting up my journal and stuff, but I wasn't really it felt more like a chore so that's why I ended up stopping that and then moving on to the first day of spring and this is also Mother's Day in the UK so although there wasn't really many Mother's Day kits around this time because it's like two months before Mother's Day in America I thought this one worked pretty well and this was the first time Reggie got sick um, so this is when he was just quite, I had a migraine so I was off work and he was ill as well so it's just it was just a whole thing but I really like how this spread turned out. Uh, again, it's another planner face one. Um, I think this was supposed to be the kind of muted uh, St. Patrick's Day one. So there's like a clover here and there. Um, but I tried to not use those too much because I wasn't using this on St. Patrick's Day week. Then we have the crossover week between March and April. And this is a fantasy design store kit, which is all aliens. And I thought it was perfect because it had the green and purple for moving into April. And also because it was all like, uh, I want to believe in like alien invasion and stuff. Uh, I thought it worked pretty well for April Fools. I don't know how much that makes sense, but yeah, again, I really like how this one turned out. There aren't many spreads in this planner that I'm unhappy with. Um, most of them I'm really pleased with how they turned out. So then we have my April monthly and this is where I started tracking steps and walkies instead of um, yoga and I've continued doing this this year so I, the little dots mean how many times I walked Reggie that day and that's not necessarily how many walks he had though it's just how many I went on and then I've just written my steps from my little watch. And um, this was a really nice month because I got to see my mum and we had like quite a few birthdays and stuff so we did quite a few like social things it was really nice and then this was the end of the month was my last day in my old team at work. 
So moving on to the first full week of April, this is another planner face kit. <laughs> Don't take a drink every time I say that this is a planner face kit because you will get too drunk. Uh, have a shot of water every time I say that it's a planner face kit. So I really, again, really like how this one turned out. I love this colour palette and I use it quite a lot throughout my planner. This week I was focusing on macros and training because I was doing um, a training programme with my PT that was pretty intense, uh, but I was like, really enjoying it. So I was just trying to focus on getting the best results I wanted. Um, also took Reggie to the pub again, and this is when <laughs> the first time we'd taken him to the pub and someone had got some food and we realised he gets very interested in food. and will jump up on the picnic tables outside the pub if there's food about. Moving on to my Easter week spread. Again, this is a planner face kit. And this week was really lovely because I took my mum to see Anything Goes for Mother's Day at the Hippodrome and just had a really nice like Monday day off with her. Um, and then we had some big zoomies from Reggie. Um, and then we had the Easter weekend, so it's a long weekend. And we just went to the pub and had a pretty chill Easter weekend. Next, another planner face kit. This time I did some colour blocking again and I love the colour blocking in this spread. I think this was the first kit where I had the new box add-on from Planner Face. So I had like little things and stuff knocking about and also some of my favourite size boxes to use up. I also included this really cute picture of Reggie and my partner when we were at the pub, like the Sunday before, um, but because I'd finished my spread before we'd actually gone out that day, I figured I'd just chuck the picture in here because I wanted it in my planner somewhere. This next spread is a Strawberry Line Designs kit and I again really like how this one turned out. We had this massive meeting thing at work, so I had my work from home days changed around. Um, if I remember rightly, this was the day that I got really stressed at my... Actually, no, because this would have been my last day on my old team. Uh, I can't remember why I was in my feelings, but I don't think it was because I was moving teams. I think it was because I was just super stressed out. And then we're going to move into May. So, again, yeah. the reason that I'm skipping all of the monthly reflections, they are all filled in, but it's because they're, like, really personal, so they're not going on the internet. So May is light pink in my mind. And again, I started using some of my jelly roll pens to bring a little bit of sparkle into my planner spreads. Um, this is a six week month, so it's a bit squished up, uh, but I'm quite happy with how this one turned out just because I had the right uh, combination in the kit of like box covers that I could use and then things I could use for washi. And yeah, I'm really, I really like how this one turned out. Uh, I had this kit saved, this is an, another old planner face kit, I had saved it for ages and it was like this office themed one and I figured for moving into my new team that fitted perfectly. So this was my first day in my new team um, but I was working from home and I had a doctor's appointment and all this sorts of stuff so yeah. This was a really nice week, we had some really nice weather, I took Reggie out to the countryside, he met a horse for probably the first time because he barks at the horses when we hit them like clip clopping past the house but um he had nothing to say to the horse when we saw it in person. Then this was my first ever foily spread. So this is the Josephine Bow Designs kit and it's got loads of hollow foil in it and it's really shiny. I just used this kit because I wanted to but then it was also Eurovision so it kind of fitted perfectly that I was using a very sparkly kit um, for Eurovision. Uh, we also got some new garden furniture this week so I had a like, I was really happy with how the garden was looking in May. It's not looking that great at the moment, but and it is winter while I'm recording this. But yeah, I really love how this one turned out. I was, I just kept looking at it and wiggling it because I was like, this is the first ever shiny spread that I've done. And then we have a much more chilled, uh, kind of springy kit. This is again from Strawberry Land Designs. And I really like how this one turned out. I went out with some friends, had some really cute pictures of Reggie. And yeah, overall, I was just really happy with how my planner was going at this point. I kind of got in a really nice um, rhythm with recording and setting up my planner because I'd got rid of my journal at this point. And I was just journaling back in my passion planner as normal. I, I find that looking at this spread and then looking at the next spread kind of gives you whiplash because they're very different vibes. So this has some uh, more foil from Scribble Prints Co, but it is a planner face kit. 
and I was so happy when I saw this kit and this dress art came out, come out because I was like, this is exactly what I need. For the day that I went to see my chemical romance for the first time in like 10 years. Um, I'd been waiting for two years since this uh, gig was supposed to happen. Um, but yeah, it was perfect. I really like how this spread turned out. Um, I realised while setting this up that I'm not such a fan of glossy stickers. So we'll see how it goes when I use Skillwood Prince Co kits in the future because I think they are glossy. Um, I think my lights don't help because they just pick up the shine of the sticker rather than the shine of the foil. Um, that's the only negative thing I have to say about this spread. I also got one of the Planner Face journaling kits and added the, some of the torn paper pieces and some of the bigger bits of deco in. Um, so yeah, I'm again really happy with how this one turned out and it was also an amazing week. And then we are using another planner face kit and this is when we had the Jubilee Bank holiday weekend. So we had the Thursday and the Friday off so I figured I would just chuck some washi tape up there, um, which I, I have done previously when I've had like an entire week off, just so that I don't colour in every single day, um, the daily focus boxes, because I wouldn't be at work. But yeah, I was really happy with how this one turned out. I did have to wiggle my weekend banner around a little bit so that you could actually see the um, design on the washi tape. But yeah, really happy with how this one looks. And also uh, me and Kelly from Kel's New Planner went to see Rocky Horror. Such an amazing day. Um, I love Rocky Horror. And hopefully it's back next year and we can go again. Oh, and also this is another one of my favorite pictures of me and Reggie where he just got in front of the camera. <laughs> So then we can move on to June. Yeah, June. Uh, so June is yellow. And then this is another bit, another planner face kit where we rush use mystery art from the previous year for a monthly kit, which is perfect because I really loved this kit. Uh, and I didn't think I was going to use this kit this year, but I did end up using it. Um, I don't like using a kit that matches the monthly, like as a weekly, but I let it go for this one solely because they, I used this monthly kit in June and I used the weekly version of this kit in July so they're different because they've got different theme colours. Um, this is another month where Duolingo just didn't happen, some fantastic habit tracking there. Um, so then moving on to the first week of June I had a couple of days off and again this is a planner face kit, a very summery kit. I really liked the like strawberry red in this kit with like some more muted colours rather than it being like full on summer like straight in your face. For this week I also did a plan as I go video, so I filmed like every single day this week. Next we have another colour blocking spread and I really like how this one looks colour blocking. I'm so, again, I'm so glad that I decided to colour block with this kit. Um, I think because I had the box add-on for this one again, that was why I decided to colour block. Basically, with a, if I only have a mini kit from Planner Face, that doesn't give me enough options for colour blocking. If I have like an extra add-on, I can usually figure it out with colour blocking. This weekend it was uh, Father's Day. I think Father's Day is the same in the UK and in America. So my parents came up to visit, which was really lovely, and we went for lunch. And it's just, just a nice, chill, summery week. Following that, I did my pride spread for the year. So again, for this one, I had the journaling kit from Planner Face, and so I could add in a few bits of the bigger deco and the torn paper strips. And I really like how this one turned out. When I've done um, rain like fully rainbow spreads before, and like every single day of the week is a different color, I don't like how they turn out for me personally. I feel like there's too many colors, but I really like having enough rainbow for it to be like obviously rainbow. I also like that I had pretty much every single flag and I managed to fit them all in the spread as well. Oh, also this was the day that my I got to my car on the Friday evening after work and my windscreen was cracked and so I had to drive home really carefully and then get like a curtsy car and it was a whole thing. Oh, my first 60 kilo cleaner jerk, nice. Moving on to the next week in June. Uh, this was a, one of those kind of stressful weeks where everything, I had a few Mondays in June and July where everything seemed to go wrong. And at the moment, when I'm looking back from this point in the year, I thought that the November was absolutely horrendous for me because I had so many things go wrong. But it turns out things were going wrong throughout the year and I was just only remembering the good parts, which I think is probably for the best. So this is another summary planner face kit. Um, I wanted to make time to rest this week and then everything went a bit wrong. Uh, but I really like how this one turned out as well. I really like the summary summary colours. 
um, 42.5 snatch. Yeah, a nice chill weekend as well. I was gonna move on to my July monthly, but I just want to make sure that everyone's aware that I did absolutely nothing with my Media Passion Roadmap. So if you don't use it either, then don't worry. July, I used this really cute kit. Uh, I actually used the weekly version of this in March, but it's I find that having uh, the lime green rather than the kind of forest green gave it a completely different vibe. And I did a lot of garden stuff this week, so it really fitted. Firstly, I used this planner face kit and I couldn't decide whether this was green or yellow and I still don't think I can decide whether it's green or yellow, but I used it on my lime green week. So this is a week when my boyfriend went to a festival and I was just uh, dealing with petrol protests and having to get my windscreen repaired and all that rubbish. Um, but I did have a nice half day on a Friday and the weather was absolutely glorious. This was the start of the really, really nice weather in the summer. I, used, I think I used this kit because of this box because I was going to be pretty much on my own from when my boyfriend went to his festival to when he came back so um, I was just going to be chilling on my own with Reggie. This next spread is that um, garden party mystery kit from Planner Phase and I also used my first bit of Tilly journal spoil so you can see a little bit of a wiggle. Um, so this is my first twinkle from Tilly and I really liked how this one turned out. I was like, oh, actually having the transparent matte is so much more my style. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed using that. Again, for this week, I had the extra um, journaling kit. So I used a little bit more of the Bigger Deco and some of the torn paper strips. And the reason I used this kit this week was that we had a big family barbecue, which we hadn't been to since pre-pandemic. So it was really lovely to go to that and to see everyone again. The next week we had that, the first heat wave. So we were trying to keep Reggie cool because we didn't know how he would deal with the heat. We got him his little cooling mat. And this kit was like very summery, but I knew that I wasn't going to be going to like a pool or anything during the summer this, <laughs> this year, because I don't really swim. My gym is over the road from my house and there is a pool and I've never been in it. it makes my hair go a funny color. And oh, this week I got sick again, yay. Also, the fact that I started playing Two Point Hospital at the end of July and I played it solidly for like a week and then didn't pick it up again actually turned up in my boyfriend's uh, Steam review for the year because I just use his Steam account to play like Two Point and other bits and bobs from Steam. Next, we have another Planner Face mystery kit and this is another one where I was really happy that I decided to colour block because I just think that it works really nicely as a colour blocking spread. So I was very happy with how this one turned out. This is where I first tried my Misfits protein bars, which were a massive hit for me. And then I was also ill all week, which was fun. Then we can move into August and I made this spread quite sparkly. So I've got all of like my writing, my jelly roll pen, like there was gold flecks throughout the kit. I went over all of them with my jelly roll pen so that they would be sparkly because this was my birthday month. So we started off this month with going to see Lamers at the theatre with a couple of my friends. So I had to use this theatre kit. This is again from Planner Face. And then I put that my weekly focus was one week more because you know, it's a Lamers pun. And also I had a load of annual leave the following week. Um, I also watched all of the weightlifting at the Commonwealth Games this week, which was really fun. Um, and I think this is my first weightlifting class because the week before, no, I did go then. Okay, yeah, so this is my second weightlifting class with my new club. This is when I was just doing the improvers class and that was because my old PT had left. He left me and I had to find someone else to do my training. So I started just doing the classes, see how I felt. And now, as you will have known from my recent videos, I'm like fully part of the club and I've done the competition and everything. Uh, the next spread is my birthday week. So this is a mashup of a planner face kit and a Joseph Fimbo Designs kit because the colours fit perfectly, but I like really liked the art from the planner face kit, but I really like the sparkle from the Joseph Fimbo Designs kit. And I really think this is very much a birthday spread, but we went down to the south coast of England, where basically near where my parents live, um, we stayed in an Airbnb and we went on the beach and we took Reggie to see the sea for the first time. And oh, it was just such a lush week. There's so many good memories in this. The following week was a bit more of a chill one. Uh, my boyfriend went to another festival 
um, and it's also our anniversary, but we don't really do anything for our anniversaries. Um, so yeah, he was at his festival uh, for most of the week, so again, it's just me on my own playing video games. Next, I was, this is just kind of a standard week. Um, I was running out of like summery kits and I really liked this um, kind of kitchen breakfast looking one. So I decided to use that for this week. And then for August bank holiday weekend, I used this kit from Planner Face. And again, I was really happy with the color blocking. This was, I just had the mini kit and I decided to try and color block with just a mini kit. So I did have to pull in some stickers from other kits and from my stash um, just to fill in some of the gaps where I was running out of certain colours. And then this also moves into September which is another reason why I had like this turquoise for August but it also had the like brown for September. So then we can move into September and I use this really cute kind of campfire going to the forest kit from Planner Face for the monthly. Um, because I knew that we were going to head to the forest at the end of the month. Um, so yeah, I really like how this one turned out, it's very cute. And then the first week of September I used this mystery kit from Planner Face and this was very much, uh, it's like a health and wellness themed one which really worked for me because I made my own training plan this week and started that. It turned out that I was overtraining massively and now that I've got a training plan from my new coach, I am much less tired all the time. So maybe uh, don't overtrain. But apparently it's quite common for if you start making your own program that you just start overtraining ridiculously. Uh, this is also the week that the Queen died. Um, so we literally only heard about that for the next two or three weeks. Um, Next, this is a really old K. Elizabeth plans kit. So I did have to pull in some stickers from my stash to kind of help top up the spread because there wasn't, it was a mini kit from K. Elizabeth plans. So there wasn't a huge amount of boxes. I think um, the formats of kits have changed quite a lot in, since I started like buying stickers. Oh yeah, this is when I thought I sprained my thumb. So that was again, fun, overtraining, don't do it. Yeah, I was really happy with how this spread turned out. I really like that it's kind of monochromatic. And then the next week is very different. Uh, so again, this is a planner face mystery kit that I decided to colour block with and I'm really happy with how this one turned out. This day we had an extra bank holiday for the Queen's funeral and while the funeral was happening, I was doing it over time. Um, but I thought this kit was perfect for saying hello to autumn. And although it's not technically within my like colour theme for September, which is brown, uh, there was the dog's brown, her hair's brown, you know. This kind of orangey colour is kind of brown. It fits, it's fine. And then the next week we went to the Forest of Dean. So we took Reggie up to the forest for the first time. So I've got loads of adorable photos of us in the forest. And then I also used this kit from Planner Face, which was all um, sale freebies again. So I had loads of extra different types of stickers and loads of extra full boxes. So I tried to fit as many in as possible. And again, used some Planner Face washi to mark off the days where we were going to be away. Oh, it was such a lush week. Then we can move on to October. And again, I bought in some silver into this spread because I just used my jelly roll pens because October is one of my favorite months. So then I got super spooky for Halloween. And this is also when I started using dumbbell doodles in my monthly kits for my weightlifting classes because I completely forgot that I had these multicolor dumbbell doodle sheets. And this was a very busy month because we had a lot of stuff going on and then also it ended not particularly well. Uh, but I was getting back on track with my Duolingo, so that was nice. The first spread in October was kind of uh, halloween -y, but not too much because we were still in the forest at the beginning of it and then I was doing some really heavy lifts throughout this week. Um, so I thought that having these like bats and like pumpkins and stuff it all fitted to make it kind of ease into the full on halloween that the next week becomes. Uh, so this was the Zombina kit and I decided to add in orange. It wasn't in the planner face version of this kit but it was in the kitnish dress art and also in the uniform of this dino waitress so I figured it would 
fit pretty well. I just picked out a few orange stickers and just used those instead of some of the stickers that came in the kit. This week was when I went to see Frank Turner and we also went to another gig, like local show on the Saturday. Um, so I went with my friend and yeah, it was just a really nice weekend. Um, but then the Tories decided to ruin it. So this is when the UK government kind of imploded. Um, so this washi is from Hand Over Your Fairy Cakes and it's not showing up fantastically well, but it just says, fuck the Tories, which is how I feel about that whole situation. The next week was kind of a classic Halloween spread. So this is the week that the lettuce outlasted Liz Truss. So that's great. I went to see uh, Kelly again and she watched me demolish this monster shake. Um, I was really happy with how, how this spread turned out. This is when I just started filming for Plansmas. So I was getting, I kind of had an idea of what I was doing every single week for Plansmas. And also, yeah, I didn't mention this in the past couple um, spreads, but this is when I decided to change up how I was doing my task list down the bottom. So now I have a section for each day of the week instead of just a chunk of to-dos. Next, we have a fantasy design store kit with Tilly Journal's foil. So I have purple foil on this and it's all very Halloween-y. So this was not actual Halloween week because this ends on the 30th, but this is the day that we were doing Halloween stuff. So I got ready in his little bat costume and <laughs> we were doing sour syringe shots at the pub, which I was like, how old am I? But you know, it's Halloween and we just went to the pub for a drink and that's what happened. I really like how this one turned out. It was it was um, my first time using the new format of Tilly's Twinkle, even though I'd only used like the Twinkle once before. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it and it was nice to like try something different. We then have the actual day of Halloween. So I was using this um, Paper Sheet Plans Halloween kit because it's not like too in your face Halloween, but it's close enough. Um, and this was the week where everything started going wrong. So we took Reggie to the emergency vets on Monday and then he got admitted on Wednesday. And we also, our fridge broke. Uh, we had, we were getting our boiler replaced on the Friday anyway. Um, and just everything just went wrong. And it was a really, really difficult week. Um, we visited Reggie every single day. Um, so there he is in the hospital and he had um, a big patch shaved off his tummy for his ultrasound scans. I really wish that this spread wasn't so difficult to look at because I really like the kit, but this week was horrible. I'm gonna try not to get upset. <laughs> um, we can then move on to November, uh, which became a bit more of a difficult month again. But I really like how the monthly spread looks. Um, I really liked this kit. I was going to use this kit for Bonfire Night um, the previous week, but I wanted to use a Halloween kit for the week that actually had Halloween in. So the first day in November, or the first full week of November, um, I was off work sick for the first four days. I didn't actually pre-plan anything for this week until about Thursday um, because I was just over it from the previous week. So I was off sick because I was just too stressed and couldn't deal with the idea of going into work. I did manage to get back to working from home on Friday um, and I was glad that I did it like that. Um, but yeah, this week I basically just took it back to basics and tried to do things that would make me feel better. Like going to the gym. <laughs> this is a good thing that I, was, I didn't have like a cold because if I'd had a cold then I'd have been even more stressed. Um, but Reggie did come home this week and he was getting better every single day. It was quite difficult the first week because he was so like under, still under the weather, kind of like he is at the moment. The next week was the Plant Face Cyber Monday Mystery Kit from last year. And this was the week that we finally got our new fridge and my friend came to visit at the weekend. So I switched out a different kit for this one. Uh, because we were going to play some board games and this is a board game themed kit. Again, another kit where I really am glad that I decided to colour block for it because I really like how it turned out. Next was my first of my two family Christmas visit thingies. So I had a freebie little mini twinkle from Tilly, which was in this like autumnal foil, which I thought went really well. 
with this it's supposed to be like a thanksgiving themed kit and we were going for a family meal so it kind of fitted but i also decided to bring in some of these floral sheets from planner face which was my first time using those and i really like how that one turned out it gave me a lot of extra stuff to play with because this is a older format of planner face mini kit the next week is my first christmas kit so this was one where i had my little extender to add in more um, of the decorative boxes and this is when i went to visit my family um my, the other half of my family for christmas and i got way too drunk but I really loved this kit. Again, it's a planner face kit, but I'm using Tilly foil. Um, yeah, I just really like how this one turned out. It's very much me. Like, I really like the kind of traditional Christmassy kits, but this is like a me Christmassy kit. Like, this is what I aspire my Christmas tree to look like. I still have a Nightmare Before Christmas Christmas tree, but it's not quite as good as that. We then have my December monthly, which is when I first pulled in like actual foil for a um, monthly kit. So this was just like some garlands and some uh, confetti corners and stuff. And then also my gold jelly roll pen. It's very festive and I love it. The first full week in December was my weightlifting competition and the day that it snowed. Uh, this is a really good spread. Like I feel really positive about this spread apart from how terrible I felt on the Monday morning. But yeah, this is a really, this Sunday was really special. This is again, another planner face kit. I think it's Botanical Christmas. And then next up we have the Christmas in July planner face secret Santa kit. And a, another one where I'm really happy that I decided to color block because I love how it turned out. But this was the week that I got COVID. But at this point we didn't know that I had COVID. Um, thankfully when we went to this vet's appointment because I'd had, an, I'd had a negative lateral flow but when we went to the vet's appointment we still wore masks because I was coughing um, and so was my boyfriend um, but yeah it turned out that we had COVID and we have like the week of Christmas so again I did my little door for Christmas day and I'm using a planner face kit which was a mystery kit called Glam Christmas and uh, foil from Tilly Journals, which is a red sparkly foil. Um, yeah, and this week I tried to pre-plan because I had this, my plan was to do a real-time pre-plan video for this spread, but then I kind of knew that I was gonna be ill. When I set that up on Sunday, I was like, a lot of this isn't gonna happen. Uh, but yeah, so I was off sick for three days and then I w managed to work from home for the last two days before um, Christmas. And then we just had a lush little at-home Christmas. Um, Reggie's first Christmas, he got some presents. He still hasn't opened all of his presents because he's not feeling well again. Um, yeah, so we had to take him for extra vet appointments, like this one where we just had to hand him, this was a phone appointment, and then this one we handed him over in the car park and then they called me in the car to tell me what they were doing. He's he's getting better, but um, I think we just need to we're going to be keeping him on like more longer term medication to hopefully stop having this pancreatitis flare up. And then my final spread of this year, uh, I have my washi blocking, I have my 22 memories from 2022 and yeah this is just like a really chill week after such a difficult week the week before with being ill and everything. And that is it for the actual planner but I did say that I would go through the back pages of my planner and show you how I used those as well so we'll skip over my two reflections at the back and I didn't use the blank pages very much at all which I never do I would much prefer that the whole back section was dot grid so this is us being really bad at big fat quiz of the year and then we have my temperature tracker which I absolutely love um, I always love how this one turns out and um, being able to like see how like nice and warm the summer was and then how cold it gets again in, in December and then next I have my Instagram and YouTube trackers uh, YouTube was a little bit over ambitious but Instagram I was pretty much bang on with how much I would grow in over the course of the year so I'm very happy with that but this is why I've changed it up for 2023 um, I then did not include my con a content tracker in my new planner because it got to the middle of March and I stopped using it. Uh, swatches, 
was great, but I felt like I didn't really use my Faber-Castell pit pens very much this year. So in my new swatch page, I got rid of those so that I've got more space to grow basically. Um, the 12 challenges in 12 months page also, I did my yoga with Adrian and then I started the Not So Berry Sims 4 challenge and as you can see, didn't do anything else. Um, I then have my doctor's stuff, which I have used, but it's obviously, I'm keeping that under wraps. And then I have my period tracker as well. So I got my merino coil taken out because I didn't want to be on hormonal stuff anymore. Um, got that taken out and then actually could start using the tracker. Year of workouts completed. I'm very happy with how this one turned out. My favorite day is the 27th because all apart from one day, I did a weight session every single day of that year, that, every single 27th of the month. Um, so yeah, it's really interesting to see like the patterns emerging because uh, there was a point where there was a couple days when we got to like May or June where I'd always done a weight session on that day. It was really weird. Uh, this So this was a page that I did after the initial setup and this was to track my Not So Berry challenge. So I did, I have got to the fourth generation and I keep popping back in and out of it, but um, I haven't, I have not completed it. And then... I can't remember what I was doing on this page, but this is where I swatched all of my passion markers and some new pens and mild liners that I got this month, uh, this year. And then I was just testing things out for 2023. And then I just have some notes from a call I had from my bank and also my little Christmas plan. And then I have three rounds of the training session that I made for myself where I just overtrained. And that's it. That's the whole back pages. And then there's nothing in here, apart from the stuff that came in it. And that is it. That is my 2022 planner. Um, I hope you enjoyed my little flip through. Uh, she, did, she did get chunky this year, but now she's gonna go into storage with my others and I'll get stuff into my 2023 planner. So that's everything for this video, friends. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.